Hello, welcome to Nezo's Bat Shop. I'm your host, Nezo, and you are looking at the Sky RC Brushless Motor Analyzer, part number BMA01. And uh, yes, this came to me from my uh, boss man here at the Strictly Sideways Track. And um, yeah, it's, this uh, device is for analyzing motors, and we've had a good amount of motors blow up or fail or slowly die or whatever. There's one right there that's been boosted heavy and stuff and uh, this I thought would make a good addition to my uh, track mechanic uh, fleet of tools there's a bunch of tools there but this will allow me to properly run a motor analyze it separately outside of a car and um, test it outside of an ESC as well to see whether motors failing or if it's an ESC that's failing uh, not providing enough power or bad sensor side on an ESC or something so uh, I already unboxed it as you can see and I've hooked up most of the things now to power it There's a XT60 port here on the side, but they give you two adapters One of them is the XT60 to the ye old Tamiya white plug. I forget the official name for it But we call it the Tamiya plug high resistance pretty not the greatest Just I don't know comes with basic stuff and we need to we need to get rid of that We should need to make a new standard like Dean's or something um, And they also give you an XT60 to bullet four millimeter bullet four millimeter bullet so that's good we're gonna use a Yokomo 3500 battery to power this you basically use a 2s battery to power it that's all you need you can do uh, up to 8.4 volts it says as well DC input so you don't have to use a battery you could use a power supply battery is just quick and handy and on this side uh, you will see here motor power wires and uh, sen kind of sensor connector I mean, I just yeah move the camera there you go you can see that better and it gives you these uh, sensor wires, these uh, bullets. Ugh. Let me unplug one here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Of course, I can't do it with that hand. There. Bullet connector there. So that's what you get. And they're color coded. So you can pick whatever you'd like for the top. For uh, A, B, or C, just make sure you plug it in correctly, or it will give you an error there and tell you to fix it. Uh, and you also get a sensor wire. They give you a sensor wire, and that's the sensor port on the uh, analyzer side and port on the motor side. Now the motor is a brand new, this motor I'm going to analyze for is a brand new OMG EPIC version 1, 8.5 turn, brushless censored, uh, designed for boost as well. And uh, recently I just got the EPIC 2s in, so I'm going to test one of those later on. But for this video we're just going to quickly fire this thing up, and I'm going to show you how it works. The instructions are over here, I've already read through them, so we're going to put that over there. Now you plug your battery in, it boots up, cool right? So once it boots up, it'll give you uh, four selections, uh, motor, KV, and RPM, input, output, all that, motor timing test, noise level test, and uh, poles of motor. So the first thing you should do is select the pole. Most drift motors are two, some sensorless ones are, uh, <coughs> excuse me, are four or higher. So you press the button and you can pick between. We're going to go two. Once you select it, spin counterclockwise to go back to the menu. Okay. So first we'll do kilovolt and uh, RPM test. Press to engage it. And then it says press and turn to start. So you press again. It loads the test. And when we turn the dial, see how we have a motor throttle level here. There is sensor ports here. This will tell you what's, uh, what's the part of the sensor is activated. And when it stops, I'll spin it manually, you'll see it go slower. So here, we're running at low throttle, and the RPM is very stable. It's a brand new motor. It shows you the, uh, the voltage and the amperage. And if I turn it up, you can do it basically by steps. It's uh, eight steps up to full throttle. And you can see the kilovolts and the amperage. Amperage there and the RPM is increasing. That's half throttle, essentially. Headphone users beware. And if we crank it up all the way, there's full throttle. Full throttle and A, no boost. Pretty good, eh? So we can see the numbers are pretty good. They're not really jumping around in terms of the hundreds, just the tens on the RPM, so that's good. And if we bring it back down to next to nothing, see there's nothing and then stage one throttle, 12,000 RPM. So we find anywhere, <coughs> Excuse me, a brand new motor will rev anywhere up to about 30 to 36,000 without boost and cleanly and that was nice and it sounded good. Now for the sensor part here, 
I stop it. See how it was flickering there? Sensor A, C, uh, C, B, B, C. Whee! So you can individually see if the sensors are working properly or even activating based on the input. Okay? Once you're done with the test, counterclockwise. Press and counterclockwise and you'll go back to the menu. Motor timing. Now this is a standalone test. When you're ready, you press start and it does it on its own. You hear how that was pretty smooth. A motor that uh, is dying will have erratic timing revving. And we can see the degrees, the average, and the phasing all right there. So that's pretty handy, right? See? There you go. Now, to get out of that test, counterclockwise back. We get to the menu again. Noise level. This is the one I find is most effective for figuring out which motors are dying or what bearings are dying or that kind of thing because. Uh, We'll run the test and then I'll tell you. So noise level press, press and turn. Now this is a you interact with it. So you press it and then you engage the throttle. So there's throttle one, step one. So we got about 79 decibels peaking at 80. Now as we run this, uh, a good brand new motor should be about 90 decibels, no louder, 90 to 91. So if I turn this up to half, got about 82 peaked. Still pretty stable. We go almost to full. There's full throttle. Ooh, this one's nice and quiet. Peaking at 82. Some other brand new ones peaked around 90. So 90 or lower is good, brand new. That's pretty good, eh? And it's pretty stable, so bring that back down. Nice. And when you're done, counterclockwise press and counterclockwise out. And that's it, you're done. So that's how to analyze a motor. Now we're gonna analyze, we're gonna analyze a bad one. Give me a second here. We'll swap motors. Always disconnect your battery before doing so. Now don't rev it for too long on the testing because the motor will get a little bit warm. This one's lukewarm-ish, <clears throat> but no boost, so it'll be okay. But you won't really want to rev a motor that's suspect bad for too long. <clears throat> okay, so that's the sensor port. This is C. And just make sure when you clip on your clips, that's A, this is B, that you don't touch the motor can. Try not to touch the motor can if you if you can at all. <clears throat> don't want to shorting out. You'll get an error anyway if you uh, if that happens. Okay, so we're ready to go again. Here we go. Plug it in, let it boot up. By default, this is set for two pull, but it's always good to check. So we go back, pull of motor, two, perfect. We go back, kilovolt test. Let's rev this thing up. Oops. Oof. Can you hear that already? How poor that sounds? And look at the RPMs, how much they're jumping. Listen to that, listen to it. It's dying, so if we rev it up. Oof. Oof. Just at half throttle, look at the jump in RPMs. Well, it's stabilizing here, but that's noisy as hell. Slowly increasing. Dare I go full throttle? Let's do it. And look, it's struggling to get to 30,000. So yeah, that's definitely on its way out. Uh, okay, let's do a <laughs> let's do a motor timing test. The bearing is going in this for sure, but the the rest of the motor might have suffered a little bit of uh, abuse and damage over time. Timing test. Here we go. Did you hear it there? Erratically going up and down. An average of 23 degrees where a brand new motor at the same timing is doing more is doing about what was that other one 27 28 29 so yeah and noise level this is the big one for me at, at one step throttle one step throttle we're already peaking more than that brand new motor did at full throttle so that should tell you quite a lot if we rev it up to half 
Holy Hanna Barbera. <laughs> and full throttle. Yikes. Oh, 95. Yeah, so that's definitely a motor on its way out. We could probably repair it, but I don't know how long it would last after that. Yeah, so there it is. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear me through all that motor revving. Um, but yes, that's it. That's the... Uh, that's the brushless motor analyzer by Sky RC. It works pretty good. I like it. So we're going to test all kinds of motors, or at least if we have a suspect uh, bad motor situation or bad ESC, we can pull the motor and put it into here, which is essentially, I guess we could call it the old dyno. And um, yeah, give a little test and find out what's what. Um, could probably even hook this stuff right up into the car itself. If the motor's still in the car, might have to do that sometime. But anyways, that's how it works, and uh, I just want to give that demonstration for y'all. And uh, yes, so in case you get one and want to analyze your motor or your friend's motors or a motor that just blew up or it's dying, suspect dying, this is one good way to do it. So yes, thought I'd do a little feature on that because I found this a really handy little tool and portable too with 2S power. So yes, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've. Uh, Excuse me. Let me know if you've uh, used one of this, these before, uh, and if not, let me let me know what you think of testing with it. And uh, yes, more videos to come. Thank you for watching. Bye now.